Greetings everyone and welcome. This is Neo and you are watching Fintech. If you enjoy our content, please do not forget to leave a like. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be informed about our later videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Before we start our video, let's hear our legal disclaimer. None of the information given in this video should be taken as financial advice. Please make your investments according to your own research. As you know, one of the most useful features that you can utilize on blockchain is the bridges. They are the ways to exchange your currency and actually adapt your currency to different situations and different platforms seamlessly and very efficiently. In 2024, bridges are also very important and especially with the rise of Bitcoin and Ethereum, actually bridges should be able to interoperate between them but they also should be very secure, transparent and efficient. That's why today we're going to talk about BridgeM. So in the most basic sense, BridgeM is a decentralized interoperability protocol that seamlessly connects Ethereum layer 2 and Bitcoin layer 2 networks. It facilitates secure and efficient data communication services, allowing users to interact with both networks quite seamlessly. And the project is also powered by Manta, which is very good, and also Merlin Chain. There are the two leading platforms in the blockchain space and having them at the backside of the project is very trustworthy. And this communication between Ethereum and Bitcoin is actually very important because it really uh, serves you without any intermediaries. And the fact that they are using Bitcoin and Ethereum is very important because these are the most used currencies in the crypto landscape right now. Especially Ethereum has such a wide network that many altcoins even use Ethereum. So this is used for much more tokens than only Ether. And actually, this is one of the highlights of this project. And another highlight why they are standing out from the others is their interoperability solutions due to its focus on layer two networks. Layer two solutions are designed to improve scalability and reduce the transaction costs on blockchain networks to a minimum. By connecting Ethereum and Bitcoin layer two networks, Bridgem actually provides users with a fast and very cost effective way to transfer assets between these uh, two ecosystems. What is also great, Bridgem is accessible to anyone who wants to use the service. The project's user interface is very simple and even beginners can get used to using this platform and bridge for their own benefits. And users can connect to the protocol through their Bridgem website and use the support wallets such as MetaMask and others, which I often use MetaMask. And the platforms is designed to be user friendly, which uh, has clear instructions and interfaces that make it easy for users to transfer assets between the networks that I have mentioned. And another reason why I'm bringing this project today is because their launch is very, very soon. The BDGM IDO is set to be live from 29th of April, 12th UTC to 2nd of May, 6 UTC. What is also great about their launch that there are five pools that are offered. And four of these pools are oversubscription pools that open to Mary, M Stone, Manta, and Stone tokens. And the last one is a whitelist only fixed allocation pool exclusive to early contributors as well. So the token ticker is BDGM and blockchain will be on both Merlin chain and Manta network. Total supply is right now 10 billion tokens. And just after a week at the end of IDO, the token generation event will be live. In this medium article, you will also see that the tokenomic details, such as how they distribute IDO staking and airdrop allocations. You will be able to access the BDGM IDO from the bridgem.ido portal and subscription period, as I have said, 29th of April to the 2nd of May. And token price will be 0.0008, which is quite low with a low market cap as well. There is no hard cap and 875 million BDGM allocation of the following pools will be released. Here on Manta, Stone, Merrill and M Stone, as you can see in this chart. And refunds are able to be claimable after the IDO ends 
and the token release time is to be announced, but within the one week, there will be token generation event. And there is also early contributor pool with the highest benefits. And BDGM amount per ticket will be 250,000 and there will be 500 tickets. This pool will be first come first serve where each whitelist address is 0.003125 BTC fixed allocation. And BDGM token holders will be able to access several benefits because token is full of utility, including fee the whiteness, BDGM staking and cross-chain risk taking, which is a very novel approach. These features provide users with additional incentives to hold and use BDGM tokens within the Bridge M ecosystem. And as you can see from Twitter, there is BDGM IDO launch. Start time will be 27th, 8 p.m. and 13th of April, 2 p.m. Again, Manta, Estone, Merrill, Amstone and contributor pool will be BTC. With the partners such as Manta and Merlin, BridgeM is to leverage the technology and expertise of both platforms, ensuring a seamless user experience and robust security for its users. And also, they want to revolutionize the interoperability with Manta Network and Merlin Chain because BridgeM wants to be at the forefront of blockchain innovation, offering groundbreaking interoperability that has never seen before and which is for the solutions for Ethereum Layer 2 and Bitcoin Layer 2 networks. Bridgem's Twitter feed is filled with excitement and anticipation for the project's upcoming launch and IDEO event, as well as other social media channels. Uh, there are different posts that highlight the project's achievements, such as surpassing 80 million in TVL and attracting over 5,000 unique users. The team also engages with the community through giveaways and events, further strengthening its presence in the blockchain space. You can join BridgeM on two different networks, Manta and Merlin, and you can access this page from BridgeM's main website. That's all for today's video. We'll continue to bring you the latest news and promising projects. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching FinTech. Until next time.